Hi everyone, good morning, afternoon here from Daybreak Cometh, driving home from quick session with some clients, building some muscles, etc. etc. Now, for about maybe two or three weeks ago, I had a dream. I uh, had this in this dream. President Trump said out loud, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. It was something that he made publicly. Um, I don't quite remember the full details of how it was received, but I know to some aspect it wasn't received by some. But the reality is, that's something I heard. Now I know some people are politically impacted whether they are for or against him. But the reality is, what God demands of us, he says, first of all, prayer intercession be made for leaders and those in charge he said but this is good it pleases god our savior who wants all men to be saved coming into a knowledge of the truth and that we may also live peaceful and quiet lives now that is what god requires of us he requires of us to pray for our leaders and as christians we can go into the political jargons and say okay I'm not going to pray for that person. But the fact of the matter is, God wants us to pray for our leaders so that the leaders can be changed. The leader can, leaders can surrender their lives. The leader of that nation, whichever nation it may be. Now, I believe the prayers of a righteous man or woman is powerful and effective. And Elijah was one man and he prayed and the skies shut up. And then he prayed again and then the sky gave its rain. I have watched many movies where people even died. Um, stories where they died and was in heaven. I remember this one specific one where the guy said he died and he was talking to Jesus. And then he see one star shooting up and then he see another light and another light. And he was asking Jesus, what is all his light? And he said, it is people that are praying for you. And he said, the light started to increase. And then it became like a powerful floodlight boom, that shoots up into heaven. And he said that floodlight sucked him back down into his body. Now, if that's a few people um, connected to that individual person, they started a chain prayer for that individual. And he was so impacted where he was brought back from the dead and got into the business of bringing people from dead to life translating them from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light and so if an entire nation of people a nation of believers yield themselves according to what the word of god says and praying for the leader of that nation don't tell me the prayer of righteous man and woman is not powerful enough that the heart and soul of that person is lit up on fire by the kingdom by the power of our prayers there is no president or king or queen can run from a nation of righteous men and women, men and women whose prayers are powerful and effective. And so to me, whether you are Democrats or Republicans or in between, the Bible say a soldier does not get involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officer. 
and our commanding officer Jesus Christ is saying we should first first of all he said the first thing on your agenda when you're praying is your pray for leaders he didn't say we should even pray for ourselves or pray for our jobs or anything like that he said pray for leaders because the Lord is interested in the entire nation and he wants us together to pray for the leader of that nation so that our prayers can impact the life of that nation the life of that leader so whether that leader he removes them or he saves them is up to him the, re the responsibility that has been given unto us is to pray for that leader and so my brothers and sisters I know everyone have a whole lot of things that they want to say about the president you know I've seen people make videos and they, they, they do mockery just as people will mock Christians I've seen them mock the president whether you like the president or not and I am neither Democrat or Republican I am neither so I am I am a son of the Most High God a righteous man and from that position I am just sharing what the Lord has shown me we have the responsibility to pray for our leaders we are we have not given the responsibility to to join on and cuss and call leaders name that is not what God says of us he said we should respect those in authority not because just for themselves but because of the office that they represent and so one of the things that my 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 pastor when I just became a believer she would always teach us respect your leaders so you will not hear me say Trump or, 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 or Donald Trump is President Donald Trump and whoever was it, it if, when it was Obama, it was President Barack Obama. Put the president in the position. That's the name. It doesn't care what your opinions are or what my opinions are. The only thing that matters is what the Bible says. And so if we are following what the Bible says, then when unbelievers and when sinners are saying certain things about the leader and acting a certain way about the leader and don't want to pray for the leader we as believers should not act that way we as Christians should represent we are ambassadors for the kingdom America or Jamaica or China or Cuba is not our home is not our country we are ambassadors and so as ambassadors, the Lord wants us to represent the position with honor, with dignity, and realizing that we are not civilians, so we do not get involved in civilian affairs because we have been sent on a task for the nation, um, to the nation, I should say, that God sent us to. So he sent us to America for such a time as this. In this end time, so we can pray for the leader of the nation that his life can be impacted that he can make righteous decisions, that he himself can be saved and implement things in place that will cause many to be saved and come into a knowledge of the truth and can live peaceful and godly lives so my brothers and sisters i want to encourage you with this your task is to pray for the leader our opinions does not matter in comparison to what the word says it doesn't matter how you feel whether you like the leader or not God said pray for them whether you find them disgusted does disgusting or not God say respect them and that is where we stand in the word of God so I want to encourage all of you my brothers and sisters in Christ those who don't know Christ yet well it's not the task is not mine to put that demand on them but the Lord has placed that demand on us who are righteous men and king and women in the kingdom thank you and have a wonderful day today